Thank you. So guys, to celebrate Mental Health Day, I think it's about time we discuss this issue. Chris, this issue is serious. Like a lot of people are just dying and smiling and just living and existing because they feel they have to because they feel the society has programmed them to live that way Umbano, auntie tell us what you want to talk about we need to discuss this ada issue yes being an ada in a neighbor home okay so now i'm being very particular about being an ada in a neighbor home because that's the one i understand very well i don't know what it's like in I don't know what it's like for Yorubas. I don't know what it's like for Alsas. But for an Igbo, I be in an Igbo home. Ah, ah, it is not a journey for the faint hearted. Yes, you heard me. It's not a journey for the faint hearted. Growing up, let me even start with myself. Okay, yes, I'm proudly an Ada. Yes. <laughs> and then when they want to confuse you, they'll say, Ada ne ru, no what the hell okay so you you see um growing up i always had that um oh yeah they want to send somebody chica come here they want to the when they are sharing the chores or whatever mine will be like times 10 of what every other person will get if everyone is supposed to you know you you get because you're the other so you're supposed to be like the second madame in quotes and then you grow up like you you grow up living like that like recently i was discussing with some friends and i told them we we're discussing about our childhood and everything and i said i don't have a childhood i think my childhood was ripped off from me it was stolen and i feel like my parents have to apologize to me yes because I grew up way too fast. You know, and this is like um, the fate of most adults in most evil homes. Like you're being given responsibilities upon arrival. They never even let you breathe. Like, before you, I, I can't even breathe. Like, let me breathe first now before you start giving responsibilities. But then they already nurture you into this kind of formidable force kind of person. Like, one man squad army kind of thing like or more you're the adult you're the protector of the universe <laughs> you're like the shield of the shielder you're like the merlin of the family you're like the which one again which one again uh, i'm looking for someone in game of thrones to use to chai 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 okay i can't remember right now but that's what an ada is in a typical liberal home why and then most of this ada as in quotes relatively go through their own issues a whole lot trust me now they are human beings also so they have all their own struggling times but because you're the other you're the formidable force you're the one man army you're everything the merlin bobo you can't even express how you feel most times because okay why are you expressing it to now is it the people who are supposed to look up to you or the people who are looking up to you or the people who you're supposed to console or the people who you're supposed to be there for do you get it now like so most adults get to live in this circle it looks like they're in a circle like okay I, I just have to do this because it's expected of me even when everything is going crazy and berserk I just have to be strong I just have to keep doing the right things because I'm like a role model to the other people who are looking up to me. Do you understand? And so that's how they develop. So not only is um, your childhood taken away from you, like because most times they don't get to leave, they get to nurture and train other people. You also, you, you also take this habit from childhood into adulthood. So most times, all others ever get to do, all they ever know is to keep solving problems, to keep being support to the downtrodden, to keep giving light and 
and and and whatever love to the people who need it. What about these adas in question? Let me start by throwing light, kisses, and love. You all need it. Okay, let me give you one, my, my one crazy thing. I come from a family of nine. Yes, you heard me right. Nine, nine, nine freaking children. <laughs> Yes, nine. And then I'm the other. Okay, I'm not only the other, I'm the second child. Second, second. Yes, second child, you heard me right. I remember um, the second to the last, my mom had him when I was in SS3. Yes, I was in SS3. And I was mad, I was angry. Like, why? Why? All my friends were laughing at me then. Noni Akana. All of them were laughing at me. Ah, auntie, her mom's pregnant. And I'm like, why? How can you be doing this now? Look at her. I mean, SS3. She had the baby. I'm like, okay, no chance. I was doing, you know. Me, I, when I'm seeing the pregnancy, I'm thinking about all the nappies I'm going to wash, all the extra hours I'll have to work, and all that. Me, I was just timing them. I said, no problem. Now, let me just write jam. Oh, let me just write jam. Any school that I'm going to has to be the one that takes me to Kafanchan, Jalingo. You know, I must leave this house. But it will make me, what? And then guess what? <laughs> My mom got pregnant again when I was in final year. Yes, final year. <laughs> I'm laughing now, but it wasn't funny. I was mad. And I dropped a statement with my mom. I was like, I was like, why are you giving birth to? Why are you um, giving birth to someone? Oh, sorry. I was like, why are you giving birth to a responsibility you're going to hand over to me? People, people were like, what's on saying? Like, they felt I didn't know what I was saying. Like, what's, what's this one just talking now? But I knew what I was saying because you've just keep, come on. You're giving birth to a child, in fact. I could have had a child at that age. Even two, even three. So come on, you were, you were giving birth to a child for me. That's what it means. And, and that's how we see in Igbo land. Because in, in homes in Igbo land, when children are being brought up correctly, in quotes, you're supposed to relieve your parents of the backlog of children. Like they've done for you, do for the rest. They've done for you, do for the rest. And so you see the adas being sacrificial lambs. When it comes to all the getting all the whiskey beatings, getting all the, you know, it's, you're the first now. So now you go first chop all the examples and experiments and all the rest. Then you see your, young, your younger ones, they're now flexing. They are flexing, they are living life. Your parents are not, they are now too tired to like perform the same kind of thing on your younger ones. So, where do we draw this line now? I want to say, let bygones be bygones, as per those of those others that have lived their own and are going into <laughs> extinction. No problem, let it go, that's gone, let the pain go. But what of our upcomings? This practice is like a standard. So it's still obtainable. You, you still hear young mothers, supposed 30s, 40s, saying, ah, I'd like to have a girl as my first child so that she can be helping me, so that she can take off some, so that she can look after her younger ones. You hear them say that. Meaning it's still a trend. Meaning people are still, people still want to go that route. Indirectly, raising children with pain or raising children who are in pain, who cannot even express themselves, who just feel it's okay to take in pain, who just feel it's okay to suck in pain, to be at the receiving end. Now, well, I'm the other. It is what God, um, and Peter the solid rock upon whom this church stands. Do you get? So it needs to change. Okay, let me tell you something, something crazy about me. I find it very difficult to cry. Sometimes I feel 
not like I feel, I'm in pain. I'm in so much pain, I'm hurting. Yes, I'm hurting. And I feel like the only way I can feel better is to cry. Like, I just want to cry, cry my eyes out, I wail, I scream, and someone says, sorry. Can I bust your bubble? I can't cry. I've been looking for the tears like this. Last song, you don't see anything. You cannot come out. It has gone. It's gone. You get. Because I I I trained myself to say you're you're supposed to take anything. You're supposed to be able to take anything. You should be strong for everyone. You should that, that's that's what's expected of the other. You get me? So now I'm sitting here and telling you, please, enough. Do the much you can. Yeah, do the much you can and leave the rest. Everybody should be able to do something and take care of everybody and be the other and be the, the other and be everything together. Everybody should take it. This is, don't come out with all the, don't go religious on me now, I'm talking about birth right and bullshit. I'm not talking about all of that. I'm talking about your mental health, your state of mind. You don't have to take everything. You don't have to take everything. It's okay to cry. It's okay to cry. It's okay to talk to people. Make friends, talk to people. Make your younger ones your friends. Let them be your friends. Because you begin to see that at that thing as, as a leadership title. You begin to see that at that thing as, as a, it's a leadership thing. You know, so therefore, you, you now see yourself as a social prefect or as a class monitor. So your younger ones are like your, your classmates, like you're the monitor, you're the prefect. So anybody that makes noise or anything, you correct the person, you write names of noise maker, you do all the, you get, that's how you now see that at that thing. Instead of building a relationship with your siblings, being friends, be friends so that you can talk to them. They can be there for you when you need them to be there for you. And vice versa, you be there for them too when you want them to be there for you. So this pattern of adership thing is, 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 is almost the same way our parents live. Or the same way they lived, whereby they give up everything for the children, they give up everything for the children, and then in recent times, children are no longer the retirement um, benefit they get. Everybody's now doing work, work, until say you do any year, you see any year. So, like, everybody's now doing over, oh, don't come and stress me, you know, my mental health. <laughs> you ask your children for money, they better. <laughs> My better health, Foxy. My better health, Foxy. You get the most parents get to suffer because they've spent basically their livelihood and the days where they were supposed to treat this, themselves okay on taking care of children, and and that's it. So that that's the same way. It's like there's an alignment between being a Nigerian parent and being an adult in an evil home you get so i'm here I, I brought up all these issues so that we can actually discuss this because i think it's unfair i think it's unfair now i'm not um speaking from i'm not just saying it because i feel i can say it but i'm saying it because i'm an adult and you know what what it feels like so i'm saying i think it's unfair new generation mothers upcoming mothers mothers already be called the way to our kind of responsibility. Let our dads also enjoy their childhood and even their adulthood. You see, um, from 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 the beginning, our dads are already referred to as mother hands. Stereotyping. You're already referred to as a mother hen. So whether you like it or you don't like it, in your mind and in your body and in your soul, you already know that I was born with this responsibility. Like, I have to do this. If I don't do this, who will? So if I not try, I call one now. A lot of people are depressed. 
a lot of people look back and be like, how, how could they do this to me? Like I just said, I feel like my parents owe me an apology. Because I feel like you took this whole other thing way too far. Like you took off my childhood. You even took off a part of my adulthood because I was basically nursing children and being an adult and putting up with all the sacrifices just so my younger ones are happy and feel like the other is functional. Like, like the crowd they gave me is actually functioning. Like I'm not just some absolute other that is somewhere existing. So you, 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 there, there's something, something that happened. Okay, so um, I lived in Lagos with my parents, and my parents wanted me to go to As Lasso, sorry, Lasso. And Lasso from my place, as at that time, was just like 15 hour bus or something. Ha! Well, and then he was feeling the jam for, you no, know, Shebi is me. Uh, okay. When I filled my jam form, my first choice, I, I kid you not, was Kalaba. Ah, I started even asking me, is there anywhere in Zamfara? Tell me so that I can go to Zamfara. Because this other thing, it, it choke it, choke it, choke it, choke it. It has choke it. That was the level where I was at. As I then, but uh, I, did, I couldn't run away to Zamfara. I did that, could I run away to Kalaba? And then, Somehow, I still always found my way to my parents' house <laughs> to continue my other duties. So my point is, I feel like we begin to pressure our kids from very tender. We need to lose it now. We need to lose it now. Parents, be cool. Now. That is, I don't know. Reduce, reduce. Because stop going to the extreme. Nanda ada bupa no mas. Nanda ada as as much as was as much as the other does. Fuck a bupa no mas. And still did all of those petting, all of those pampering, all of those mommy, my baby, my sweetie. They need all of that, like all the other children. So easy on the pressure, easy on the responsibilities. Make it. Be intentional about the fact that I'm not going to take my, my kid's childhood away from them or away from her. I'm going to allow her live like a baby, live like a child, grow up and enjoy life as a child. And then for the others, for the others in the upcoming, in the can, in the can we chances of making a change. <laughs> That I had to say that and they can't wait chances of making a change. Relax. Breathe. Breathe. Be friends with your siblings. If you look at most of the time, it's two years difference, four years gap. Be friends with them. So that when you need friends, they are there for you. Most of that most times, I think we can leave that bond. You get they don't really have that bond with siblings because they are like i said always seeing themselves as prefect principal monitor all of these kind of things so let us intentionally for our mental health like i saw a post recently that said if you want to find out about your adulthood or why you're behaving in certain ways Revisit your childhood. The answers are there. Exactly. So take it easy on yourself. Relax and breathe. Relax and breathe. You get it now. So take it easy. No pressure. Oh, the, the pressure is getting worse up shouldn't be near you it's not getting any worse or anything wherever it's getting worse i am not prepared about i'm getting worse you get me so just take it easy take it easy on yourself you know take it easy you're just an other in a home so guys all this is my plenty grammar 
mixed with Igbo. I just hope you're getting the point. I'm leaving you guys with two things. One for parents and one for dadas. You need parents, Jillian Wire. Take it easy. Stop mounting pressure. Stop mounting pressure. Jillian Wire. These people are children. These people are trying to transform. They're trying to make choices for themselves. Don't take away their, 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 the chances they have to make these choices for themselves by giving them chores and other people's responsibilities. Allow them to leave. And then others, Bikonu, take it easy on yourself too. Oh, please, let, let's do the needful for our mental health. A lot of people are mad, but they don't know. A lot of people are going crazy, but they don't know. A lot of people are depressed, but they don't even know. You just have me wondering one day to not enter that full scale madness plus depression. And I just say, when? I'm not going to be hard. We didn't know when it escalated to this one. Not knowing it was a build up. It was something that started to get like like game of screed. On Aga, on Aga, on Aga till it went poof. So please, let's do the needful. As we are celebrating Mental Health Day, let's let's try to take a chill pill, sit down, relax, think, re-strategize, and re-engage. Thank you, guys. Bye.